My name is Mitch Tynster. I'm a professor of plant breeding and genetics in the Department of Agronomy at Purdue University. Phenomics is a, actually an old science. A, a lot of people think about phenomics as the new phenomics and what, what is that new phenomics, but I, it's probably easier to describe the new phenomics as long as you know the context of the old phenomics. Phenomic science, or phenomics, is the science of studying plant traits or characteristics. So a few decades ago, phenomic science was walking around in the field with a pad of paper recording variation in plant height, perhaps, or if you have, uh, you could have a, uh, an instrument, a simple instrument measuring things about the plants, perhaps photosynthetic characteristics or color of the leaves. Um, and you would work your way through the nursery plot by plot, perhaps plant by plant, and record variation in these plant traits or characteristics. Well, from what I understand, uh, phenomics has been around for a very long time, but has just advanced in recent years because of the capability of, of sensing, um, both in situ sensing and um, the capability to uh, acquire and analyze data. So all of that goes together in terms of advancing the capability of phenomics and then, of course, people might really want to use that more widely. And the um, field of plant breeding, of course, wants to move forward information as quickly as they can relative to uh, genetics that are going to be favorable for whatever the goal is. And so I think that that's all linked. So phenomics, from what I understand, is not a new concept but the utilization of phenomics has really advanced in recent years. I think of plant phenomics as the, the science of studying how plants change physically over time, especially in the growing season, and how those physical characteristics are related to their genetics, their climate, their environment, and, and other things, and how those characteristics affect their final yield growth, also how those characteristics affect their response to climate. 